हेलो एवरीवन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक व्हिच वी विल बी गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज अबाउट द एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन सो बिफोर दिस वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज रेस्पिरेशन एंड व्हाट आर द टू टाइप्स ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन एंड देन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन डिटेल दैट व्हाट आर व्हाट इज द एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन थ्रू अ डायग्रामेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट स्लाइड दैट व्हाट इज रेस्पिरेशन so respiration is considered as one of the most important chemical process and it is been carried out in all the living organisms that includes the plants the animals and the humans so what they does they in order to live they require the they release the energy for various life processes so this process of respiration they occurs both during the presence or in the absence of oxygen so if there is a presence of oxygen that will be called as the aerobic respiration and if there is absence of uh, uh, oxygen then it will be called as anaerobic respiration so by this we understand this this is a chemical reaction that enables all the living enti- entities to synthesize energy that is required to sustain so it is a biochemical process so the respiration is considered as a biochemical process wherein air mo- air moves between the external environment and the tissues and the cells of the species so in process of the respiration there is inhale inhalation of the oxygen and exhalation of the carbon dioxide which takes place so this is the process of a respiration and often it is referred to as a metabolic process so the plants they undergo the process of respiration so next we will discuss about this only that there are two types of respiration that is aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration so if we talk about aerobic respiration it is a cellular respiration that takes place in the presence of oxygen so as i have told in the previous slide also that if there is a presence of oxygen then it will be called as aerobic respiration and if there is absence of oxygen then it will be called as anaerobic respiration so in case of aerobic respiration there is a presence of oxygen gas that produce energy from the food so this type of respiration is common in most of the plants animals birds humans and other mammals so in this process water and carbon dioxide are produced as end product so these are the end products of the aerobic respiration now if we talk about anaerobic respiration this is a process which takes place in the absence of oxygen gas so what is happening in this process there is a energy which has been obtained by the breakdown of glucose in the absence of oxygen and if we take the example of anaerobic respiration then fermentation of yeast the fermentation in the yeast is the best example which states the anaerobic respiration now what is the definition of aerobic respiration aerobic respiration it is the process of producing cellular energy in the presence of oxygen so this is a process which takes place in the presence of oxygen to produce energy from the food so this is what the aerobic respiration is now what is aerobic respiration what is the equation of aerobic respiration we will be discuss we will be discussing in this slide so as uh, as this is stated in the equation as well that there is a glucose molecule that is c6h12o6 which combines with o2 and carbon di- and it will give carbon dioxide water and energy as the end product so this is what the aerobic respiration looks like because there is a presence of oxygen which has been present in the reaction so if we talk about aerobic respiration it is a biological process in which food and glucose is converted to energy in the presence of oxygen so this is the chemical equation so if we talk about the chemical equation of this then energy is been released by splitting the glucose molecule with the presence of oxygen gas so there is a glucose molecule which will give rise to energy so this is what has happening so at the end of this chemical chemical reaction energy water molecule 
and carbon dioxide gas are released as the by products or end products of the reaction so aerobic respiration it takes place in all the multicellular organisms which includes the animals plants and other living organisms and during this process of aerobic respiration in plants the oxygen enters the plant cells through the stomata stomata is the tiny pores that is present on the leaf which is found in the epidermis of the leaves and stem of a plant and with the help of photosynthesis all the green plants they synthesize their food and thus release energy so the chemical equation for the complete process of photosynthesis or the aerobic respiration in plants includes carbon dioxide plus water which give rise to glucose plus oxygen so this is what the equation of the photosynthesis is now we will be discussing uh, this aerobic respiration through a diagrammatic representation so this diagram it represents the entire process of the aerobic respiration so there are different cycles in aerobic respiration which we'll be discussing in details like there is a glycolysis process there is a curb cycle then electron transport chain they are clearly mentioned in the diagram so if we talk about this this is the process of glycolysis and this is the glucose glycolysis process is what when the glucose get converted into pyruvic acid and they will release two molecules of atp so this is what is glycolysis process the glycolysis process then enters into the curb cycle after the curb cycle it will release the chemical energy and there is an electron transport system which requires oxygen and it will release h2o plus 36 molecules of atp so this is what the this is how the aerobic respiration takes place in plants so now what the we have represented of almost over three cycles here so what are the three cycles here we will be discussing in detail so first we will go about with the glycolysis process so these are the steps of the aerobic respiration now glycolysis it is one of the primary step of the aerobic respiration in glycolysis and it takes place where it takes place it takes place in within the cytosol of the cell so if someone asks you where this glycolysis process takes place it takes place within the cytosol of the cell and during this process of glycolysis the glucose molecules are splitting and they are separated to 2 atp and 2 nadh molecules which later used in the process of aerobic respiration so as in the diagram it was been depicted that in the process of glycolysis when glucose gets converted into pyruvic acid it will release two molecules of atp but it was not mentioned the two molecules of nadh but there is a release of two nadh molecules as well and is that it is that later used in the aerobic respiration now formation of acetyl coenzyme a it is considered as the second step of aerobic respiration what is happening in this step is the pyruvate which was been converted in uh, glucose which was been converted into the pyruvate so in this process pyruvate is oxidized so this is a step by step process so pyruvate is when oxidized it is in the mitochondria so pyruvate gets oxidized oxidized into the mitochondria and two acetyl group is produced so there is a production of two acetyl group the newly produced two carbon acetyl group binds with coenzyme a and it will produce acetyl coenzyme a so this is how the formation of acetyl coenzyme a takes place next is about the citric acid cycle this is considered as the third step in the aerobic respiration so in the diagram it was depicted as a curb cycle so it is also known as the curb cycle so what is happening in this stage basically in this the stage of aerobic respiration this cycle undergoes a reaction of undergoes a reaction and they produces two molecules of carbon dioxide one molecule of atp and there is a reduced form of nadh and fadh as well so this is the third step in the aerobic respiration now comes the fourth step that is the electron transport chain and this is the last step in the aerobic respiration so what is happening in this phase is there is a large 
there is a large atp molecule which are produced by transferring the electrons from nad h and fadh so when a single molecule of glucose creates a total of 34 atp molecules so this is the last step of electron transport chain is the last step of aerobic respiration now these are some of the references thank you